hey guys welcome back to another vlog so i recorded this video right when i came back from saint thomas carnival i'm posting this so late but i have so much content in storage i'm just trying to get rid of them or post them but in this video you're gonna see me just basically getting back into the swing of things getting back into my routine and trying to organize myself so i just came back from grocery shopping and I tried shopping or grocery shopping at Target and I don't think I could do it. Like a lot of things I would normally get at Walmart and Dolly, I could not find in Target. So I ended up going back to my stores that I go grocery stores that I normally go to. Um, yeah, just it's not it at all. But before I get further into organizing myself, I had to make me a nice cup of coffee. No, I don't drink coffee every day. But I do drink it quite often throughout the week. I really enjoy making my coffee using my Keurig machine. This is a creamer I've never tried before. It's not that bad. But I'm going to stick to my mocha creamer because I think that's probably one of my top creamers that I like to use. First things first, I am going to start off by replenishing my jars that are on my countertop. So I got these from Home Goods a while back and they are so perfect. I really like having them on my countertop because they are good to store things that you use on a regular basis. So for some people, let's say you might use oats or you might want to put rice in these jars. For me, I put sugar, my little nut mix, and flax seeds. But yeah, these were a really good purchase at Home Goods. Now, I do not purchase or buy white sugar at all. I always try to buy unrefined sugar or like 100% brown sugar. That's just my preference, but yeah. For my mix, I normally would use raw almonds, cashews, banana chips, and cranberries. But I told myself I need to probably venture out and try different or try nuts that I don't commonly buy. I'm not really a big fan of like walnuts and pecans, but I think if maybe I buy other nuts that I like and just try a different mix, I might like it. But I always try to buy unsalted nuts. I always try to cut out unnecessary salt in my diet if I can and that's one way that I can do it is by buying unsalted nuts and I also like to purchase like raw cashews and raw almonds I really don't like roasted nuts <laughs> but I really enjoy having this mix I take it to work and then when I'm at home and I'm just hungry or I want a little snack I just grab some out of my little jar so I know I just told you guys that I do not buy salted nuts, but the day that I went shopping, I could not find a large jar of unsalted cashews. So I ended up buying that jar that I got at Walmart, unfortunately. So this will just have to do until I can get me a nice jar of, of raw cashews. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy watching organizing videos, reset videos, just watching people kind of get themselves together, cleaning, organizing their stuff. I recently started watching Starbucks baristas vlogs. I don't know what it is, but it's so calming watching them make like the different Starbucks drinks. I can't be the only one that enjoy watching that. <laughs> but yeah, I just really enjoy watching people organize and getting themselves together. So I really hope that you guys actually enjoy this kind of chill vibes. Just watching me reset and yeah, getting myself together. In addition to mixing nuts, I also like to mix my cereals. So the Vitali cereal is from Aldi and I got the Simply Granola from Walmart. In between the different layers of cereal, I like to sprinkle a little bit of flax seeds in my cereal dispenser as well and by the way i got this dispenser from amazon and this was another great purchase i think it's just so nice to have this right on your countertop so you don't have to keep going in your cabinets for cereal in the morning all the time cereal is not something that i eat every day but occasionally whenever i do have cereal it is so good so i normally use almond milk but i told myself i need to try using oat milk i've heard that it's creamier 
not sure how healthier or if it's healthier than almond milk and the health benefits but i told myself i definitely should try using oat milk um, in my cereal as well as when i'm making like my iced coffee so yeah I know you guys can see that I am watching YouTube on my little Alexa device, but anytime I am cleaning, cooking, organizing, just chilling around my apartment, I really like watching YouTube, watching my favorite YouTubers in the background. But anyways, let's get into the quotes that I have behind my little cereal dispenser because I hate seeing how random and disorganized my cords are. I need to find like a cord organizer. I can just put on my countertop to make it look more presentable because I, I charge my phones there, my watch um, and other devices there, but it just, it looks so bad. So if you guys know where I can find a nice cord organizer, please let me know because your girl need one. I feel like in the majority of my vlogs, you guys probably see me in the kitchen a lot because just that's what the vibes would be at for me in the kitchen. Like not any place else in my apartment, but the kitchen. I really enjoy cooking, making my little fruit salads, and just preparing myself for work for the week. But in my fruit salads, I mostly use like strawberries, blackberry, blueberry, apple, oranges, occasionally papaya but yeah my most common fruits are gonna be like my strawberries and my berries and apples and oranges if you enjoy making fruit salads or just having fruits or eating fruits like i do get you a sink strainer my friend put me on to this one from aldi i think like last year but i could not find any at the aldi's close to me recently found one when I came back from St. Thomas and it is definitely a game changer. It is extendable and collapsible so whenever I am washing my fruits and drying them I just let them sit in a little strainer and yeah it's so perfect it's so ideal get you one. Now I am preparing some breakfast burritos to take to work. In my burritos, I am having scrambled eggs with some bacon bites, a little bit of cheddar cheese, and some sriracha. I like my eggs to have a little bit of kick to them. Okay. I think I use maybe like four eggs, I think. And I also like to season my eggs a little bit. And when I say season, I don't put like black pepper, onion powder sometimes garlic powder um my mother recently told me about putting a little called olbe i think is the name of the season but it really if i may saying it correctly i hope i am but it really does give your eggs a nice little flavor to them so definitely try it but like i said previously or earlier in the vlog i do not or i try not to use too much salt when i'm cooking so when i use eggs or when i'm cooking eggs i don't put salt in it that's why i have my other seasonings like my black pepper my under powder so yeah right now i'm just preparing my bacon so i can cut them up in some little pieces because i will sprinkle my bacon bites on top of my eggs um, when i'm preparing my little burritos but yeah
Occasionally, I do purchase or buy turkey bacon, but eh, not to make regular bacon. Okay, let's just be a little honest. And then I also buy like the little turkey links or the little sausage links as well, but I like me some nice bacon. Whatever. Okay? <laughs> So after I cut up my bacon in the little bites, I prepared them or cooked them in the air fryer. Loving my air fryer so much. But you see how crispy the little bacon bites are? So good. So yeah, I'm just putting them or the bacon bites on top of the scrambled eggs. And then I sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top, cheddar cheese preferably, and just a little bit of my sriracha over the bacon and the eggs. In this part of the vlog, I was just rambling about my experience for St. Thomas Carnival and just being on an island. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like and comment. But thank you so much for watching and see you in my next vlog. Bye guys.